If you want to become an ethical hacker and get into cybersecurity, then this video is for you. But before we jump into talking about cybersecurity and hacking and ethical hacking, I think it's really important for us to talk about the fundamental skills you need in order to become or get into cybersecurity and hacking. So if you are a computer science major, a lot of these fundamental skills should be covered in your degree, but it doesn't hurt to go through them and listen to them and skim through them. And if you're coming from any other IT background, just hear me out. But do me a favor, please, please, please make sure you're not skipping any of these steps because at the end of the day, it's going to work against you and it's going to make it a lot harder to learn. And instead of just going backwards, I just really recommend learning the basics before we go into ethical hacking. So the way that I'm going to lay out the video is I'm going to talk about particular skills or topics. And for each of those, I'm either going to point you to a free resource or I'm going to mention a security certificate or course that you can look at the syllabus or even purchase if you want to. But the whole point is to give you a set of free resources or paid certificates or courses for you to get into cybersecurity. So again, the requirement isn't for you to purchase anything. I'm just gonna give you options. You can even use some of these security certificates, look up the syllabus and just learn them on your own. So the first thing you want to learn is your basics of IT. You want to understand how a computer works. What are the different hardwares that go into your computer? How do they communicate with each other? How does your operating system works? Do you know how to install particular apps or install an operating system and so on? I think CompTIA's A plus is a really good place to go on an entry level. I highly recommend even looking at the syllabus and learning some of these basic topics based on what they're teaching on your own, or even better, you can actually look up some of these courses like the CompTIA A plus content on YouTube and learn them for free. I know there's a couple of content creators that have them on their channels. I'll link them down below, but you really want to understand the basics of IT, which I think if you're watching this video, my assumption is that you have already done this. You come from a background, but if you don't, please make sure you do that before you go into my second skill, which is networking. And by that, I mean to understand how a network works. What is a three-way handshake? What are the different services that run on different ports? What is a site notation and being able to subnet and knowing how subnetting works? And honestly, if you're looking for a good certificate or a certificate to model after, I think Network Plus by CompTIA is a good resource. And honestly, you can also do the CompTIA Network Plus and Network Plus Plus back to back or just learn the concepts from them before you move on to the next skill. There's also, again, YouTube content around this. I know a couple of YouTubers that have content around this. I'll put them down below. But networking is a very important part of learning hacking because when it comes to doing a pen test and interacting with different websites you have to understand what these different services are and how you interact with them from your computer to that server and back so networking is a really big one i highly recommend that you should definitely learn it before we move on to the next one which is learning how to code. And that entails just learning a scripting language like Python, which it's really, really a good place to start out with. It teaches you everything you need to know. And also it helps you automate some of your work. And when you look at an application, you can make some assumptions based on what you know from learning Python. For this category specifically, I really don't think it's necessary to go look for a certificate, honestly. I think Python is very accessible. You can actually learn it on YouTube. There's a couple of really good sources out there that you can look at, but you have also have these uh, websites like your Code Academy or Free Code Camp. These are just really good resources you can use. I know both of them have some free labs you can do. And if you want to spend a little bit of money with Code Academy, at least I know that you can uh, purchase a pass and it gives you extra labs that you can do. And they're very, very interactive. So don't go waste your money on a certificate for these. Honestly, learn them on your own. Creative project that you may like, maybe it's grabbing the weather every day and posting it on your phone or a Slack or something like that, but just create a project of your own and learn how to do it with Python. Or if you want to go a step further, you can also use Bash, which kind of brings me to my next point, which is also learning Linux, which kind of goes hand in hand is you want to learn how to use Linux. And I understand that learning Linux could be very hard and very scary if you have never used it. But honestly, you want to make sure you use Linux as your primary operating system because it helps you become better at it. But honestly, you have to be able to maneuver through a Linux shell or a Linux terminal if you want to get into hacking. And that's something that I really use day to day, whether if I'm hacking or doing just my day to day work that involves some sort of a security or hacking concept. For this one, I don't recommend going and getting something like the CompTIA Linux Plus. I think there are other ways you can learn it. But if you want to look at a certificate, Linux Plus is a good place to start. I know Hack the Box has a complete course on basics of Linux, but also I think Over the Wire and some of these other platforms also offer them. I'll link them down below. But honestly, Linux is something that you want to do. Even if you have a Mac OS with a 
MacBook Pro uh, with macOS on it. That's also really good start, but just learn how to maneuver through the terminal. How do you copy files? How do you move them? How do you delete them? How do you create new files? And so on. So just the basics of things you need to understand when it comes down to Linux. So now that we got all of that fundamental out of the way, we need to talk about just the basics of security and hacking. And this is not just ethical hacking, it's just mostly understanding the basic concepts and the basic terminology when it comes down to hacking and security. And if you notice, I keep saying hacking and security together because they both kind of share the same terminology. It's just one is on the offensive side and then the other one is on the defensive side. And there are some really good resources out there. Again, I don't recommend a certification here just yet. If you want to get into ethical hacking, we'll talk about some certs later. But I honestly say take a look at your security plus or maybe even your pen test plus and look at the syllabus and really go after what they're teaching you in the basic formats is just to understand what is a vulnerability what is an exploit how to enumerate for services what is phishing what is social engineering so you really need to understand the basic terminology and if you notice i said both security and hacking hand in hand because it doesn't matter one's on the offensive side and one's on the defensive side but they both really use the same terminology and you need to understand them before you get into actually doing the hacking so these are things like understanding what an exploit is what is a remote exploit versus a local exploit what is phishing what is spoofing what is password brute forcing how to enumerate for different services port scanning and so on so these are just understand the basics and once you understand these you can go after a certificate like your security plus or pen test plus again i don't really recommend doing that but if you want to get a certificate those are your two options but even better look at the syllabus learn what they're teaching at a high level and then really sit down and think about what is the niche that you want to go into when it comes down to cybersecurity. And when I say you need to figure out what your niche is, is really understanding what pathway you want to go through as an ethical hacker. And a lot of times you see that people want to go into web hacking because A, it's one of the first lines of defense for any organization. And B, it's because it's one of the more entry levels. And also there's a lot of high demand for it. And you can also go do bug bounties and freelance and make money on your own. So it's just the most common pathway. So go to web hacking and then later on decide where you want to go with that from there. I actually have a lot of content on this. I have a whole roadmap on web hacking, but we're going to do a short summary of it really quick right now. The first thing you want to take a look at is you want to learn how websites work. So if you can understand what happens when you type in www.nahomsec.com, what happens on your computer, what happens on the server side, what happens on the browser side, and really understand how to build a website. So go launch a website, go buy a server or a VPS and launch your first website. And just understand the basics that go in there into creating a website. Then you want to learn the basics of web hacking. I think the WebSec Academy by Portswigger is a great place to start. They have a ton of different labs and they also have explanations for all these vulnerability types, how to look for them, how to exploit them. And then you can just do them in parallel by reading and doing those labs at the same time. There's also Hacker 101 and there's Bug Crowds University where they're both by the top two bug bounty platforms where they teach you the basics. With Hacker 101, you can do labs for free. If you finish them, they get you an invite to a private program. We don't have to talk about the bug bounty piece, but it's a really good platform to learn from. And then with Bug Crowds University, they have talks and content by some of their top hackers that have been recorded and release on their websites. There's also the Hacktivity on Hacker One. I think Barcrowd has something similar to this, where you can actually read all the disclosed vulnerabilities from some of these top hackers in the world. So you kind of get an understanding of their thought process, what they're looking at, how do they come up with it, how do they export it, and what was it worth, and what was the criticality level for that specific vuln. So those are the recommendation for learning some of these basics. We can also go a step further. I personally love ctfchallenge.com. I'll also put them all down in the description, but CTF Challenge goes on HackerOne and goes on Buckrout. Look at their disclosed vulnerabilities and makes them into a form of a CTF, which if you're not familiar with CTF, you can go watch a video right here. I'll put the link right here. You can go watch it on my channel. But with CTFs, you can actually get these experiences based on these vuln types that have been found and they make it very realistic for you to learn so all of these resources so far that i've mentioned are free but you also have some of your paid content like your try hack me and hack the box which we'll talk about in depth more in a little bit but you also have pen tester lab which is highly recommended because they have a ton of different challenges a ton of different rooms or just these micro content that you can go through to learn some of these basics so if you have a little bit of money from 20 to 30 dollars and you want to spend some money I highly recommend Pentester Lab, but also if you want to purchase a course, I have a course of my own on Udemy that's going to get updated in the next couple of months that I'm going to link down below so you can go and purchase it 
can also learn from you as well. The next pathway is just looking at privilege escalation. Privilege is when you get an access to a system, let's say you have gone to shell and you have a non-privileged user that could do limited amounts of actions, but you want to elevate that access to the root or administrator, you can do privilege escalation to achieve that, but it's kind of very unrealistic from the learning platforms because not a lot of good content has been created around it. But I personally think Hack the Box and Try Hack Me do a fantastic job of creating a lot of different content around Privesk to teach you these. And I think uh, Tiberius is also really, really good at Privesk. He also has a course that I'll link in down below. You can go learn from him and purchase his course or just look at the syllabus and kind of learn what you want to do on your own. So with Privesk, it's it's not really a big skill that you want to have. You may use it in your pen test and you may use it in some of your engagements or your red teaming. But it's not something that is still a hard requirement. But I do know that if you want to get your OSCP or Offensive Security Certified Professional, which is one of the highly recommended certificates in the world, you may want to be good at this stuff because it's a big part of it and it's huge. So it doesn't hurt to learn it. All right, let's quickly talk about our last pathway or the last skill set that you want to learn, which is Active Directory. And if you're not familiar with Active Directory, it's what almost every organization or large organization in the world uses. And in simple terms, it's just a database of some sort that kind of knows what users have access to what resources, and it kind of just keeps track of those things. And if you get access to it, you can either get access to those resources or create an account or elevate your access to that particular service. And I honestly don't have a lot of experience here. It's not something that I'm really good at. I just know that it's a very highly seeked skill. And I know people like Heath or the Cyber Mentor, he has a ton of good resources on this. I will link him down below in the description again. And he also has it on his channel. I think it's a couple hours long. You can go watch it right here. And I think he has also a course on his platform that you can check out and learn from as well. There's also Try Hack Me. It's not a whole lot of money. It's only, I think, like $14 or $15. They have this room called Attactive Directory. Is that? Attractive directory, attractive directory. It's a really good room. They teach you the basics. They teach you how to actually break into it and how, how to uh, exploit it and how to set it up and how to set up a lab. I recommend that as well. You can go check them out. I'll put them again, all the links down below for you to check out. As far as certificates go, I know you guys are all going to ask me about them. Hey, what certificate do I do for cybersecurity? Should I do the CEH? Should I do Pentest Plus or SCP? What is the route? Honestly, I personally don't have any certificates. I don't think there are hard requirements. So if your goal is to get a job in cybersecurity, it will get you past the first HR initial uh, screening, but it's not a hard requirement. The only thing that I do have, and this is not to talk down on any certificates, is to do your research. I personally am not a big fan of CEH or a big fan of Pentest Plus. I think they're really good for entry level, but I don't. I think they just have been around for a little bit too long or they're not as updated as they should be. So I don't recommend getting those two, but I really recommend looking at the syllabus, and just learning those on your own. The one that I do know it's highly recommended and is highly respected is the Offensive Securities Certified Professional or the OSCP. I highly recommend doing that. It is kind of expensive, but it's one of those certificates that's very highly recommended and respected in the industry and it will get you past HR, but you have to spend a little bit of money as I mentioned earlier. There's also other options like your PNPT by TCM, which is your practical network penetration tester. It's a little bit more affordable. It's also as respected. But honestly, with certificates, it's a really hard one. I don't want to push you to one way to get a certificate because it costs a lot of money. So what I recommend is really figure out what you want to do as your goal. If your goal is to get a job, look at the syllabus, look at the reviews, and go after one that looks interesting to you. And you can just take some of my advice I've given you so far throughout this video with what to do when it comes down to getting a certificate. Okay, that's it. Do me a favor. If you haven't already, smash the subscribe button, become a no homie and support the channel. I've also created subscriptions so you can get exclusive behind the scenes and exclusive content of some of my streams that I do on Sundays just for our members. If you want to hear more about cybersecurity and ethical hacking and see more content like this, drop me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. I would love to hear from you. But until then, do all the liking, do all the commenting, do all the subscribing, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.